Hello, welcome everyone. Today I'll be discussing problem name tree distance from CSCS sheet. Now, first I will read these problems, then I will explain how I have written its code. Here you are given a tree consisting of n nodes. Your task is to determine the maximum distance to another node. Means we have to find the maximum distance of one node from to its another node. Uh, here the nodes are number from 1 to n and it's a tree so it has given n minus 1 edges a and b and we have to print maximum distance of one node to another node. If you haven't tried this problem, I've first pause this video and think about it two minutes or five minutes then come to its solution okay after pausing now let's move on first what will be its brute force see the n is given in 2 into 10 to power 5 therefore if you think that you can use you can iterate over every node as root and try to find every time then in each DFS it will take order of n and for each n nodes as root if it traveling and finding its distance to another nodes it will be take n so it will be order of n squared overall time complexity which, which will extend our time complexity of n because it will be of 4 into 10 to power 10 therefore the another approach we can came to it that is first if you have idea about the diameter then you can also think about it first again then pause this video and think about the diameter approach how you can use the tree diameter to solve this problem. So now move on. Uh, diameter. The diameter of the tree, if you don't know, it's defined as the maximum distance between any two nodes in the tree. Means this is a tree, for example, this is a tree. here then diameter is the maximum distance and here the main observation is that the diameter of the tree does not depends on the root node if we have here we have defined one as our root node root node and if we define seven also then also the length of the diameter will never change here the maximum diameter can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or 6 or 7. The maximum diameter is of length 7. From this 7 node to this node number 12. Now how can we use this thing to solve our problem? Mm. think about it then I will come to the code now come to the solution first we will try to find the diameter of a tree diameter of a tree and its two nodes which is both ends of the diameter then for this we can obtain while this using two dfs through two dfs we can obtain this and so i will show my code here first i have make the graph 
I usually prefer to make the graph in class because it gives the most structure to our codes. The also helps the interviewer and the other people to understand what you have written and also gives the interviewer that you have idea about the class and objects. So here I have made the pointer of list and integer n. Then I I will explain it later. This is a add as function to our tree. DFS helper function and DFS and call distance. I will come to it. So now first from here, we have taken integer n as input and creating graph of size n. Size n means uh, we have given in text form 1, 2, 3, 4 this way from n. And I have created only size and means I we I have also reduces in inserting it in minus one because it will doesn't have any sense to do not start with zero. We can also start but we have to make graph of n plus one also it will be wasting our memory. So I have made the zero indexing one, two, three. 1, 2, 3, 4 from n minus 1, which will be graph of n. Now, after making graph, I am added edges here. G of adding edges calling this function, then this function G will add edges, and our graph will form in this way. If we have written G of n, then and our here small n will be initialized with the capital and L, L has created an array of list of size n which is we are here creating the adjacency list in the graph if you have studied it earlier then we are finding the max node 1 and max node 2 max node n 1 and max node 2 both are the both ends of the diameter. Diameter here is our diameter D of then mx2 and mx1 are our maximum distance D and the both ends are the node 1 and node 2. And we have to only find this to calculate the maximum distance of the all the nodes in the tree. Then how we can find the both of any nodes? We have simply call the DFS, then DFS go to the DFS is depth first, so it will go to the maximum depth depth in a tree. Then while using one DFS, we can travel any one and this to any one of the max node 1 or max node 2 in our call. So after reaching max node 1, let's say, then we will call max node 1 as the root node and again call a, another DFS on it to find the node 2, making max node 1 as root node. Then after calling, we have get the both max when max node one and max node two. Then we now have to calculate the distance from both these nodes. So we have called the function distance. Now so what you have done? Call the function distance or dist and from distance to now come to the distance. Now here, how we are calling DFS, if you have seen, study DFS earlier, it's simple, the DFS transversal, node parent, and here, we have find node, which we are finding, and max distance does not have any use here right now. So, we are finding DFS to the maximum distance 
of node 1 or node 2. Now, if you have seen that here I have initialized parsing it, passing d as 0 and max distance passing with with reference that it will be changing to find node 1 and node 2 and finding node 1 and node 2 passes with also reference here. Now if max x less than equals to 0 I will be initializing and putting it to find node which will be operate our max node 1 if it will simply again calling the another DFS on its child's of node <coughs> sorry and after that calling I will be returning find node 1 from DFS first DFS then we will get here max node max node 1 and max node 2 through this now what is calculate distance function it is simply calculating the distance of node here we have passed the vector distance which will be calculating the distance from the roots here we have make the roots first as node 1 and also parents as root 1 and passing the vector max distance 1 and I have initialized the vec both the vector max distance 1 and max distance 2 initially with 0. So here move uh, after calling the simple dis BFS, DFS call we have calculated the distance of child distance of node simply in this way and calling again over its child the DFS then it will give me the all the dist distances of nodes from node 1 as root and after second call it will be give store the distance of all the nodes from node 2 in the second distance matrix then simply we have called here to print the di maximum distance of each node and it's a greedy approach uh, see how if we have an tree for example let's take this one 1 2 5 so here our graph will be 1 2 3 3 4 and 5 5 now what will our max node on see this is the maximum distance for in first in first transversal of DFS we will get the max as 4 or 5 max node 1 let's say it will be 4 considering 1 as root here then from 4 we will call the DFS 4 as no root so it will be give me after making 4 as root it will give me here a distance max node 2 as max node 2 as our the another node 2 then we will simply have to find the maximum distance from 2 as root node and 4 as root node because it will consider as diameter so it will be maximum then from any node if we saw here it will uh, always give me to the maximum reach to both the ends and it will maximize the distance to any particular node in the tree so we are considering so therefore we are considering both the max in our cases here max distance 1 and max distance 2 to print the maximum distance of a node to any of its nodes in the tree and that's all for this video 
if you have any doubt please write in the comment section i will clarify it then now stop stopping this recording